Let us see how to cultivate lab lab from seed to seed. The chromosome number of lab lab is 2m is equal to 22. The common name for lab lab is hyacinth bean. It belongs to the family Fabaceae. It is an annual or short-lived perennial legume crop. Leaves are comprised, leaflets are rounded, three in number. Flower colors ranges from white to purple. Flowers are born on long stems in inflorescence. There are two types, one pandal type, CO1, CO2, CO3, CO4, CO5 and PUSA yearly polyphoric are mainly under cultivation. Bush type, CO6, CO7, CO8, CO9, CO10, CO11, CO12, CO13, Arca J, Arca Vijay are cultivated. Seed color varies from cream white to brown black color and has fleshy white strip around half of its circumference. The crop tolerates light frost and is more tolerant to low temperatures. It can also be grown as leguminous crop as the leaves are highly palatable and does not contain any anti-nutritive factors such as tannins. The soil for growing lab lab should be well drained with loamy soil and pH of about 6.5 to 8.5. The land is ploughed to fine tilt. The land is prepared separately for bush type and pandal type. For bush type, ridges and furrows are formed at 60 cm apart. For pandal type, pits are digged with 30 cm into 30 cm into 30 cm dimension and filled with 10 kg of farmyard manure per pit as basal application. For bush type, farmyard manure 12.5 tons per hectare or irrigated and dry land conditions, nitrogen 25 kg and 12.5 kg per hectare for irrigated and dry land conditions, phosphorus 50 kg and 25 kg for irrigated and dry land conditions per hectare and is applied as basal application. For sowing, the seed rate for bush type is 25 kg per hectare. For pandal type is 5 kg per hectare. Sowing, single seed is dribbled at 30 cm apart on one side of which formed at a spacing of 60 cm for bush type. For pandal type, 2 to 3 seeds per pit are sown at spacing of 1 into 1 meter. Irrigation should be done immediately after sowing and on third day thereafter once in a week. For pandal type, drip irrigation will be more efficient as water can be used economically. The seed grows and emerges out of the soil as seedlings. The crop attains two leaf stage. After 30 days of sowing, 10 grams of nitrogen is applied per pit for pandal type. It can also be supplied through fertigation. The crop then attains vegetative stage followed by flowering stage. Weeding is done whenever needed as weeds could compete with crop for growth, nutrition and sunlight. Weeding must be done very carefully as damage may occur to the crop plants. The major weeds are grasses and other dicot plants. The weed-free field would provide better sunlight and nutrition which directly contributes to high yield. Pesticides and fungicides are sprayed using knapsack sprayers. This is done before pod formation as pod is the economical part of the crop. For pod borer, carbaryl at the rate of 2 gram per litre is sprayed at 15 days of interval. For sucking pest, malathion at the rate of 1 ml per litre is sprayed at 15 days of interval. For powdery mildew, wettable sulphur is sprayed at the rate of 2 gram per litre. Then comes pod formation stage followed by pod maturation stage. As lab lab is also a vegetable crop, vegetables are harvested at the vegetable maturity stage. 
Lab Lab is harvested for vegetable purpose and for seed purpose. For vegetable purpose, pod plucking is done when the pod is big enough. The pods are then directly used as vegetables in culinary. For harvesting of seeds, the pods are allowed to grow and mature. After drying of pods, they are broken to collect seeds. For vegetable harvest, the yield for pandal type is 12 to 13 tons per hectare and for bush type is 8 to 10 tons per hectare. Hence, pandal type is a high yielder than that of bush type with less seed rate.